number one, let's talk about Spectrum. Um, I think the development that everybody's hoping for next year is quite big, uh, not least for the Fiscus, if we can get the right price for it. Exactly. Uh, so that would be nice cash for us as a country. We desperately need it. But more importantly, um, as you know, that was important because of where we think demand for internet access is going. Everybody's talking about 5G. My honest opinion is that there's tons of spectrum still left in 4G. Yes. I think that's going to last for a very, very long yes. time. Every telco is trying to say, oh, we've tested 5G. I read somewhere that Vodacom was bragging about testing 5G in the Sutu of all places. In 300 meters, I think. There we go. The... <laughs> Sutu is the first country in Africa to have 5G. I don't think anybody cares. 330. Um, so I think... <laughs> I really don't. I don't think anybody does care. So I do think that, that that's PR. And I think that the spectrum allocation is going to be good because it's positive news as well. Absolutely. I think investors get a lot of confidence the country's moving in the right place. We absolutely screwed it up when it came to DTT insofar as, um, you know, digital television is concerned. We delayed it. We should have fired the minister. We didn't, blah, blah, blah. So all intentions and, for all intents and purposes, it looks like it's going to happen next year. I think they say quarter one next year. So that's good. Um, but I do think that there's something exciting happening around mobile internet access for many people because we've had this, you know, fees must fall and data must fall. I think what's happening, if you had to look at the Vodacom interim results, Joseph was saying that they spent 4 billion rand on the infrastructure in six months, 4 billion rand, and their prices for data dropped on average 16%. Now, many people say, I didn't feel it or whatever, but that tells you a trend. The trend is that the tokens are going to continue to invest in infrastructure. They're going to get more spectrum, and the prices are going to fall. What does that mean? More and more South Africans are going to get connected. And I think that is the most positive thing that can happen for our economy. <laughs> if our people can have access to the power of the World Wide Web. So I really think that world is going to blow the lights out. Trends, for me, artificial intelligence, number one. You talked about the Aussie 40 and the employment issue. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real issue. I know that many professors are writing books about, oh, no, it'll just be job replacement nonsense. Jobs will be lost. So you're saying AI equals job loss. You, jobs, and the reason why jobs will be lost... And not jobs, job replacement. The reason why, and, and not job replacement, the reason I say that is because <laughs> the majority of the times in developing countries like our own, most of our jobs are in unskilled and semi-skilled and very repetitive processes. You are going to have technology that will pretty much do the stuff in its sleep in an eighth of the time, 16th or 32nd of the time um, in terms of processing anything. So it's just, it just follows. It's going to be cheaper. It's going to be quicker. It's going to be 100% accurate. Imagine doing an audit where I can take the entire GL of a company Absolutely. for the accountants in the room, are you with me? Absolutely. And dump it into a program and out pops anything that's wrong. Yes. When I did auditing, we used to take sample sizes yeah. and extrapolate them <laughs> and say, well, if so much is wrong, then maybe so much is wrong. That's never going to happen again. What's going to happen to article clocks? Who's going to hire them? What are they going to do? Computer's going to do the audits. No more VBS indeed, right? We just pop it in there. We know anything that's wrong. So AI for me is big. I'm not too concerned about the banks, I must tell you, I'll tell you why. Because I think that in South Africa, the banking fight or the banking battle for customers is actually service. I think that South African banks, as, 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 as much as we can all complain about them, and the technology that's going to be brought by all the competitors, they actually have the wherewithal to get there. The problem is that they're big and slow, and these companies are small and nimble. Mm. So they are likely to appeal to that 2, two percentile, top 3 percentile, the people in this room, we're going to be excited about that stuff. <laughs> but the capital customer chief, push up. <laughs> he's fine, he's all right with his app, he's good. Yeah. So I don't think they'll make that much of a dent in the industry per se, yeah. but I think they will certainly create competition at the top end.